Praise the Lord. Yes, another wonderful night tonight. And it's uh, like 7.50 in the evening here in Edmonton, Canada. So in behalf of Faith Revival Center Church of Edmonton, I would like to extend my special greetings to all my friends and uh, my listeners. And I welcome you to this uh, program and brought to you by our church here in Edmonton, Faith Revival Center Church of Edmonton. And yeah, I would love to recognize all our friends who are watching here this evening. Yes, of course, my dear brother Mark Chavez, always there. Brother Romeo Ta, I recognize you. Oh, my dear sister, Ka Curtis. Yes, oh, my beloved son, Pastor Philip Mahadukan. Uh, yeah, thank you for um, watching and monitoring and uh, clear and loud. <laughs> wow, that's beautiful. Yeah, we just uh, came in actually a few hours ago uh, from our uh, church picnic and uh, it was a wonderful turnout of the brethren. Uh, we enjoyed a fellowship and uh, everybody uh, that was there was so excited and uh, so uh, you know we enjoy the food of course and the fellowship so I was just encouraged to to hear the impact of our uh, you know testing broadcast uh, a few days ago when in fact as far as uh, uh, where's that grand cash grand cash uh, Chuck and Pat attending our church last Sunday and they said can you imagine a five to six hours drive from their place coming here in Edmonton and uh, wow is they are just blessed and uh, it so happened that they were able to watch our broadcast and I never thought that it will uh, give them a great blessing so, Brother Shock and, and Sister Pat, amen. Thank you for for coming or, yeah, whatever the name I cannot, uh, yeah, or Pat and Shock. It's uh, a great uh, blessing for our fellowship yesterday. Yeah, Brother Kyle Miguel uh, Sullivan, yes, uh, we miss you. <laughs> and also Brother Nick uh, uh, Perez from Davao City, yeah, Bunawan. And uh, uh, good to see you, my brother. And also my good uh, Pastor Bong and Sister Mary Jane Castellio in somewhere in Winnipeg. Yeah. And also John, uh, Joan Figueroa Miranda. Just uh, thank you for joining today. And all of my friends all over the world. Kamusta kayong lahat, mga kapatid? At I really desire my heart to share to you the word of the Lord. And of course, my dear Sister Rain, amen. Thank you so much for uh, helping me and uh, uh, sh sharing some <laughs> sharing some songs. <laughs> and also, uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, one of my favorite songs, amen, to give thanks to the Lord today. So you who are listening there today, amen, the Lord will continue to bless you and your family. And uh, yeah, I'm not wearing my, <laughs> I'm not wearing my headset, that's why I cannot hear. All right, yeah, now I can hear. Oh my goodness. Yeah, my, oh my goodness, our, one of our presbyters, uh, an instructor of our Bible college in Davao City. Uh, Reverend Efren Graelius, uh, hi Pastor, listening from your live broadcast today, God bless, yes thank you, just to uh, hear from you today, it's such a great great blessing to us, my wife and I are blessed to our friends who are always following with us, and also for my dear sister, Mar Marilyn Mahadukan uh, Francisco, uh, yeah, praise the Lord in Davao City. Amen. I greet you all there in the name of the Lord. 
and my good friend and Pastor Albert Thunder just joined. Floyd Tibankaya, yes, I acknowledge you all, amen, and also Elizabeth Dancel. Yeah, my dear sister Dancel, we have our fellowship and uh, uh, sort of prayer and uh, training this coming Saturday, 10 to 2. Yes, amen, glad to hear and see you. <laughs> Yeah, amen. A little bit, uh, I, I felt like uh, red in my face because we were under the sun. And we have a lot of friends who join us today. Amen. Sister Rafa, in Dimatula, it's good to see you here and watching. And yes, to God be the glory. I give him back the glory for what he has done. I hope uh, the sound is not too loud and uh, yeah, I can share to you a few words from the word of the Lord and uh, we have already 12 uh, views. Brother Romel uh, Chavez, a man, uh, one of our birthday celebrants. We celebrate, uh, we celebrate the birthday of Brother Romel, my beloved wife, Sister Nelly, who preached last Sunday a powerful message. Never quit. Amen. <laughs> it's, uh, it's wonderful, okay? And also Sister Rhonda Liano. Amen. Happy birthday, Brother Jas Alberto and Sister Jennifer. I hope they're not watching yet, but they're probably they're resting. With the yeah, I hope my voice is readable. You can you can hear it loud and clear and uh, uh, amen and uh, all of my friends here in Canada and also of course for uh, Hubert and uh, Crystal yesterday or rather the other day for the wedding thank you for inviting us and providing us a very nice hotel amen and uh, yeah it was wonderful to see my friends even in Vancouver uh, Pastor Agbayani and Sister Agbayani uh, amen. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Uh, it's, uh, of course, Pastor uh, Jimmy Ramos and Sister Ramos and the whole family. They're such family for us. Amen. We, we love them and uh, we appreciate their uh, care and love for us. So, amen. And for all of you who are watching today, of course, I'll be giving you a few encouragement from the Word of the Lord. And I don't know what is your situations, uh, you know, uh, that you are facing, but uh, I know that my God is alive. Amen. He never changes. He's always here to help us. Amen. And uh, I, it was amazing. Really, when I heard a lot of testimonies, amen, uh, from the people, people who are listening to this program, amen, uh, through our church here in Edmonton. Faith Revival Center Church of Edmonton, and uh, yeah, can you imagine people are coming and listening to the Word of God, attending our Bible studies in the south side, in a way, praise the Lord, and uh, yeah, it's amazing, amen, even our prayer meeting, it's such a blessing, brothers and sisters of the Lord, so I encourage all, uh, amen, the people in the world, yeah, Sister Cortez, I really love and appreciate you for always following, even a praying and watching and listening. Your live video pastor from San Jose, California. Wow. Well, maybe one day I can visit uh, San Jose, California. Uh, actually, we will be going to uh, the States this September. I think uh, we will be here September, I believe, until. Uh, attend uh, uh, our general conference, but we will pass by my friend and my classmate, <laughs> Brother Rick Lissandra, in um, New York City. I want to, with my wife, want to go there. Oh, my dear sister Lillian de la Cruz, amen. Thank you so much for all your love and help in the work of the Lord. It's my prayer always that God will speak to you continue to watch over you and your husband and the friends of the whole family. And then it is my prayer. I really believe that God is a great God. And he will make a way with this. There's no way. Amen. So uh, just uh, be there and uh, continue listening. I know some of you are still working or 
just came home. But uh, yeah, thank you for all the likes and the love. Yes, amen. We all love you. And uh, uh, Jesus is always the reason, amen, for living. And, uh, although sometimes it's hard for our you know, communication. Uh, we came from the uh, south of the Philippines and we have our own dialect in our language. But uh, then we would like to communicate to you, my friend. Actually, we have a lady in Vancouver who is really desirous. Uh, uh, even sending me twenty dollars just to, he said, Pastor, I want to hear you over the radio. But then, uh, you know, I, uh, as of now, I cannot afford it. But uh, through Facebook, Amen. We will try, Amen, to share to you the word of the Lord. Actually, uh, the word of the Lord that I'll be giving you today is in the book of uh, Psalms thirty-seven, Amen, verse three. Trust in the Lord and do good. So shall thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desire of thine heart. Commit thy way unto the Lord, trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass, and he shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light and the judgment as of the noonday. Rest in the Lord. Maybe you are tired. Men in this life, you know, every day uh, challenges that you are facing, but rest in the Lord and wait patiently for Him. Fret not thyself because of Him. <coughs> Praise the Lord. Okay, so rest in the Lord. That is the word of the Lord today for all of you. So listen to this song today and worship the Lord. Amen. Anybody here sick and tired of living like you do? Anybody here want to hold with love forever? Praise the Lord. With me is my wife. Uh, yeah, but uh, maybe I will ask the, her water uh, later on. But uh, anyway, later on. Yes, I recognize Alma Santiago Rahim. Amen. Thank you for watching. So delight yourself and the Lord. Okay, delighting in God. Here's what David said about the light. Delight yourself in the Lord. Make him happy and he will give you the desires of your heart. Amen. He will give the desires of your heart. How can we delight in the Lord? That is the question. Through the eye of discernment. Your eyes will see the king of, of, in his beauty. That is in Isaiah 33, verse 17. Praise the Lord. Amen. Thank you, my beloved wife, for her. That is uh, there helping me, giving me this water. Wow, so fresh. All right. Amen. So delight thyself unto the Lord. Your eyes will see the king in his beauty. Be discerning. Praise the Lord. To see God in His beauty is to appreciate Him, to enjoy Him, to be thoroughly delighted by Him. Wow. God's Word enables us to see God's beauty. That's why we want to share the Word of the Lord. Because the Word of the Lord enable, enables us to see God's beauty. If we see only words in the Bible, we will miss it. It's hard. The Bible is more than verses to be memorized, texts to be poured over, or disciplines to be mastered. It is the self-disclosure of the universe's most glorious being. He is present on every page, in, through and behind both words and Content. There his thoughts and feelings of his heart are disclosed. When Jesus interpreted the Old Testament to the two disciples on the road to Emmaus, he didn't simply give facts. He explained to them what was said in all the scriptures concerning himself. Wow. Glory be to God to the spiritually discerning the Bible is a glory-filled book 
the Spirit takes us beneath the surface of Scripture to the God who is the true meaning of everything. His parts and contain or uh, his parts the curtain to the show us his creative wisdom and caring love. Above all, he shows how he manifested himself in the person of our Lord Jesus Christ, who came to reveal to us everything, amen, about himself, about our God. When we read, praise the Lord of Jesus' agony in Gethsemane and on Calvary, we feel God's agony over our sins. Take note, the Bible said, all have sinned and come short to the glory of God. We cannot save ourselves. Nobody can save us except the Lord Jesus Christ. He can forgive our sins. We see his desire to be reconciled, amen, to a fallen race. That is the purpose of Jesus coming here on earth. On earth. So brothers and sisters, that is the purpose why we read the Bible, we study the Bible. We come to church and listen to the preaching of the word. Sometimes it's, you know, we felt uncomfortable when we hear the word of God. But you know what? It is for the good of our soul. Amen. So wherever you are, amen, praise the Lord. Thank God. And you must be thankful that we are pastors, evangelists, missionaries, ministering the word of God. That's what the Bible said. Time will come that I will send you famine not of those material things or food but you know of hearing of the word of god and he said amos chapter 8 verse 11. amen so therefore we need to be discerning we need to discern what is happening in the world today all the signs amen all the tragedy that is happening in the world today will just remind us that the word of god is true whether you believe it or not my friend, the word of God is true. If you will not believe it, time will come and you will say, Whoa, yeah, this is really true. Amen. If you will obey, wow, you will be blessed. Praise the Lord. You will be blessed always and you will be thankful. So by uh, discerningly, I meant to read it with the Spirit's help, through the help of God. By immediately I mean to ask, Lord, what are you saying to me now? Are you ready to listen to God? A lot of distractions in the world, the music of the world, and all the shoes that you are watching over television, just to distract your mind, all the gadgets that you have. But my friend, praise the Lord for a few moments I come to you in the name of Jesus please listen to the word of God can you still memorize and hear what John 3 16 said for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life Jesus is saying today I love you you are the reason why I sacrificed myself for the cross of God. Is there somebody today who can open his ears and say, I want to hear Pastor, thank you for preaching to me right now. Because I'm really praying to God. God, you may hear my call. God, please speak to me. Amen. He loves you. Amen. Don't you know that don't you know that you are the reason for all the sacrifices that he has done on the cross of God? So when your pastor will preach to you the word of God, do not hesitate. Be obedient. Especially for the truth, for the word of God. It is not the cotton candy kind of preaching, but we need to hear the pure word of God. We need to preach, brothers and sisters. So today, I mean, once again, I really thank you and I really appreciate you for listening. And I hope and pray that God touch you right now. Pray that the hand of God is not sure that He cannot touch you. He's not blind that He can see. 
He said, Call unto me, and I will answer thee, and show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest. Maybe you will say, Oh, Pastor, I'm not to religious. I'm not for, you know, for religion. But my friend, how about your religion? It's not all about religion. It's about your relationship with the Lord. Did you give your heart to the Lord? Did you say, Yes, Lord, I want to follow you. I want to obey. Just thank you, man. It is my prayer once again. In this short program, amen. Amen. That your life will be a delight of the Lord. Just like in the book of Isaiah, chapter 28, verse 12. This is the rest which, which, with, uh, with which you may cause the weary to rest. And this is the refreshing. Wow. To know the Lord. Amen. This is the real refreshing. So for all of you who are listening today, even Sister pa uh, Pamela, hey, uh, hey, see, uh, thank you for joining. God will bless you, my dear sister. And I believe that God even will answer your prayer. So can you join with me once again as we come to God in prayer? Oh, Father God of heaven, we thank you. Thank you so much for giving me the blessing. Thank you for reminding me again that I need to live according to you. Amen. Praise God so that my life will become a delight to you. Thank you so much, Father. Thank you so much, Lord, for my friends and you people right now are listening. I declare in the name of Jesus that the peace of God will be upon them. The name Hallelujah. Of Jesus. There is somebody here today who has a special being, healing will hops in their body, in their mind, and pray more in person. The one who is the power of the for one. It's only you, God. And love us. Every family, husband and wife, the children, allow them to grow. Father, thank you so much. In my home, I'm going to see my Savior's face. And I know he's the same as the one who God and made when he humbly Let's worship the Lord, my friend, my brothers and sisters in the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. With the cross we give God and Calvary, we saw his grace. God bless you. On behalf of Faith and Bible Center Church of Edmonton, we're having our services. Amen. At 8505 142 Street, Edmonton Northwest. And uh, if you are there anywhere in the world, write the message, amen. Write the video on social journals and our apostolic pages. Believe in the name of the Lord Jesus and you will be blessed. Our pastors will be very happy to meet you, amen, and to help you. Whatever you need, He is our God. God bless you. Next time is the Lord. See you next time. Bye bye.